All right, so files EOL, meaning end of line, the default end of line character. So you have three options here, um, auto, whoops, auto, um, this slash n, which means uh, line feed, and slash r slash n, which means carriage return line feed, and then auto. So auto means uh, it's going to use whatever is default for your your operating system. And the rule here is Mac OS and Linux, they use uh, a line feed and Windows is kind of the oddball, uses a carriage return and the line feed. So Mac OS and Linux use one single character for, for uh, a new line or an end of line and Windows uses two for some reason. Um, auto, because I, I'm, I'm on Mac OS, auto or um, slash n, meaning a line feed, is actually the same thing because a line feed is the default for Mac OS. But I'm going to enforce this to a line feed um, because eventually um, my settings.json file will be in a cloud folder and that will make it so that I'll, I will have the exact same settings.json file in different computers, uh, particularly in computers that, uh, so if I'm using Windows, for example, um, not that I use Windows, I don't, uh, I kind of got over it a long time ago, but anyway, uh, if I use Windows, I can't. I want to make sure that I have the same settings that I have here because they will be coming from an external file that will be on the on a folder that automatically updates to the cloud. Make sense? So VS Code has this settings.json in, this internal settings.json file. You can actually make it an external file. And if you put it in a folder that automatically updates to the cloud and then you work on another operating system like Linux or Mac OS or Windows um, and you configure that the VS code in that operating system to take the settings.json file from that external file that is automatically updated. Whenever you update your settings.json file in any operating system, uh, they will update to all of them because the file is shared between the three or the two or however many you use. So that is the reason why I'm not going to leave this to auto. I'm going to forcefully use a line feed. And the reason for that is um, one just using one character instead of two for the same thing is obviously better, right? Now, there are some incompat incompatibility issues that you may run, in run into, especially if you work with a team. Um, so if you're on Mac OS and you have a teammate that's, work that's working on Windows, uh, they will have a line feed. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you will have a, a, a line feed and they because they're working on Windows, they will have a carriage return and a line feed. And you might run into trouble because when you, um, pull code from the repository, you'll see that all lines were changed because he converted everything to from a line feed to a carriage return and a line feed, right? Obviously, you don't want that to happen. However, you can actually fix that on Git itself. And, and that's what you should do, by the way. So when you create a repository, you can um, make sure that you configure Git settings um, in a way that when you commit code to the repository, carriage returns and line feeds will be converted to only line feeds, right? So, and that's a per repository configuration, which means that when he pulls the code, so you, you make it, you create a project on, on Mac OS, so it's all line feeds. He pulls the code from, uh, on windows and then when he saves the file, he will, maybe he will convert everything, all, all new, you know, new lines to a carriage return and a line feed. But when he commits 
that the repository itself will have a file that will say that when you commit this file to git, git will automatically convert everything to a line feed. Okay. I know this is kind of long-winded, uh, but it's important to make sure that you don't run into troubles with these uh, uh, differences between operating systems. This is uh, one of the uh, most common hurdles people uh, get into. Uh, so yeah, long story short, force line feeds and make sure that you configure if make sure that if you're working with Windows or just do it by default because it doesn't hurt anyway. Um, configure Git to always convert carriage return and line feeds to only line feeds. All right.